How does a community protect its past? How do we gather our precious history, preserve it, and keep it safe and available for future generations? In Northeast Nebraska, in the heart of Norfolk, you'll find the answer. The Elkhorn Valley Museum. The museum holds the treasures of a bygone era, displays the tools that built this community, and offers a gathering place for future protectors of these priceless heirlooms. A museum serves as a community anchor in the town they are located in. We're not just a uh, community attic. We're often a educational driver in the town as well as a community center where people can meet and feel at home as well as discuss their local culture and really uh, define what makes the 22 counties of our region unique. I like that it's this kind of traditional museum, and then we also have the park, we have the, the buildings out there and the cave, and there's a lot going on. I think it's important for all of us to understand and know where we've come from. And I think it's important for young people to understand the sacrifices that their forefathers made to create the life that they have today. People also have a tendency to think that history is just pioneers, but you know, we are living history right now because in 25 or 30 years, somebody's gonna come back and say, oh, who was Johnny Carson and why is there an exhibit here? Johnny Carson Gallery really displays how Norfolk shaped Johnny throughout his career and he kept returning and how he saw Norfolk through his eyes and it helps remind our region how we are important and anything is possible because of what we have here and how it can shape anyone's life to achieve great things like Johnny did. Here at the museum, we're fortunate to have one of the last working uh, square turn tractors. A marvel of engineering for its time, the square turn tractor was able to drive backwards and forwards and was advertised as a modern replacement for a team of horses. It's the only tractor and the first tractor that's ever able to make a square turn. The square turn tractor was invented by A.T. Kenny and A.J. Colwell both Nebraskans, who formed the Kenny Colwell Company in Norfolk in 1914. Their manufacturing venture was short-lived, however, because of the scarcity of resources, financial issues, and the impending war. World War I started, they couldn't get the materials they needed anymore, so the plant closed. The, the tractors that were in existence got sent all over the country. In 1991, it came up for auction in uh, Michigan, and Diane Kimball was present that time. She said, why don't you go to Michigan and buy it for us? Merle and Don Wilhelm were the auction winners, spending almost $20,000 to bring the square turn tractor back home. It was so popular, someone tried to buy it from them after the auction. There are only three left in the world. Well, we're preserving the history of the area here. We're not just the tractor, but there's a lot of other stuff. Well, there's Doc Campbell's buggy, Wayne Wells' lawnmower, Merle also donated the Indian motorcycle on display. The people who have lived here keep their connections and the generations stay or return. And that's really a unique thing that I don't know if everyone realizes because we have the memories to capture, we have the stories. People are drawn to our research center because of the vast amounts of family files and local business files we have here at the museum and in our library. 
people maybe remember a vague memory of an ice cream shop they used to go to or a park they used to experience and they want to return to that. And the research center is a way to have those experiences again or reconnect to family members that are connected to those experiences. The Elkhorn Valley Museum's research center is an integral part of the museum. Its focus on genealogical records and history is important because it gives the objects in the museum a story behind them. The museum is a gathering place, not only for those interested in history. The Lucian Bird Library is home to the Lucian Birders Club and an extensive collection made possible by the estate of the late John and Willetta Lucian. There are many medical and historical pieces donated by the Virgis family who are also very instrumental in creating the museum and the park that bears their name. A showpiece in the center of the main corridor is the hearse. Used in Newman Grove until 1941, it was donated by the State Historical Society. You can look inside, there's one casket in there. There's actually another casket inside the one that you see, a there's a child's casket. One of the most popular questions we have about the hearse is, is there a body in the coffin? And the answer is fortunately no. <laughs> Hands on History is a series of Saturdays where we encourage families to come and we have an interactive activity for families to do. And it's something that, that's based on history, based on the artifacts we have here, but then has an activity or a craft that they, that they can do and take home with them. And it's really an opportunity for grandparents to interact with their grandchildren or for parents to interact with their teenagers to learn together. But the highlight of the museum for the young is certainly the children's discovery zone. The children's zone was started because local people, the community, felt like it was something that was necessary in the community in the North Fork area. The Children's Zone is a great place for children to explore and learn, and it's designed for children age two through eight. Hi guys, so how are you? We are working to encourage children that when they come to the museum to make connections between what they see in the Children's Zone and what's in the rest of the museum. Like we have a log cabin in the children's zone, well you can go out to the park and see the settler's cabin out in the park. It is a place to play, a place to learn, and holds the opportunity for you to rediscover your past and connect with those brave pioneers who built Northeast Nebraska. The Elkhorn Valley Museum, celebrating our past, shaping our future.